just made this whole recording and forgot to push the record button. <laughs> so this is take two. Um, what I've done here is I've taken this uh, mesquite charcoal. I uh, bought this bag for about $14. Uh, it's 100% natural hardwood mesquite charcoal. And uh, I broke it up and I um, put it in this uh, pot, net pot, and then I just rinsed it out by the up and down motion here. Let me see if I can get this out. Now, I can actually see all the way down to the bottom of that bucket, and there's only been about three or four rinses on this. Um, so I am amazed at how clean this stuff is. I, I just never would have imagined that you could run your hands through it like this. And sure, you get a little little bit of flakes, but that's not really staining my hand. That's that's just flakes of charcoal. Um, so I'm pretty happy with this idea. Uh, from what I've read up on biochar, uh, this is supposed to be just an absolutely amazing media. It's been used for thousands of years. So you can read up more on the biochar on a post that I made um, recently uh, called Biochar, where I've uh, got several videos about the benefits <coughs> and how to make it. So this is the first uh, video. I'll uh, keep it updated. Um, I'm going to put this uh, in my grow room. This will not have fish in it. It's going to. It'll only have. Uh, I'm just going to use pea ponics, you know, hum humonia, and um, as the nitrification uh, begins to um, settle in, uh, it'll begin to make my make nitrates for the plants and uh, we'll just see how well the plants grow in this bucket. Okay, I'll talk to you later. So this is my second video. Uh, a few minutes ago I showed you how uh, I cleaned this and um, where I got the charcoal from. And now it's uh, set up with a little um, air pump uh, to move the water and that's just sitting in it's just sitting in the water uh, so all I'm doing is just circulating the water through the charcoal and maybe you can see the water level right there so what I also did was I, um, I broke up some more uh, charcoal to make it a little finer so that I could have something a little finer on top and I added some uh, humona and I'd say that's probably about one part per million so now what I'm going to do is I've got this um, Got this little impatient here that I started with my turbo cloner. It's got some pretty good wood on it, so I'm going to take that. I probably won't be able to do this one-handed, but I'll just uh, I'll plant that in here, and well, I'll just pause it for a sec. Okay, so there's the first thing I've planted in my charcoal. Um, what I'm really interested in is just seeing the nitrification and well I guess also how, how good this grows. I've got some more impatient growing here. Now this is not part of my main system. It's, it's all the water is contained in this bucket. It's sitting in the raft system and I did that so that um, well because I've only got I've only got this one window here and uh, so that's my source of light, plus I extend the light a little bit with this uh, ceramic metal halide. But uh, yeah, this is this is separate. It's just floating in there, what's well, not even, just, just sitting in the water. And uh, <clears throat> that, that way it'll stay a nice uh, 72 degrees all the time, because um, that's where I keep my, my water. And 
But what I'm interested in is seeing the nitrification and then, I don't know, I guess, I don't really, I, don't, I guess I could do a control, but I don't really have anything else. I've got this one here, but it doesn't have enough grits on it. Um, so I'm not really going to do like a grow test to see which one does the, grows the fastest, but, um, you know, this is just quick setup just to see what goes on with this. And then if this works out, I will probably replace my gravel with uh, with charcoal because I'm, I'm really happy with it. I mean, you can dig into that pretty easily, uh, at least deep enough to plant uh, little plants like this. And um, it doesn't get your hands all that dirty. And the, it's actually quite a bit easier, way easier to clean this charcoal than it is to clean gravel. So anyway, um, okay, my first two videos, there we go. And then I'll come back in a while after we get something going a little better and uh, show you what happened.